Welcome to, to today's class. Your teacher is Rajab Michira. We'll be taking you through history, form form, and the topic of discussion today is the organs of the UN, and specifically, we'll be looking at the International Court of Justice. And the station you're watching is a Limit TV, where you get to watch and learn. Welcome all, and let us learn. Now, class, we have looked at a few number of, uh, a few organs of the UN. We have stated a few, for example, the General Assembly, was the first organ we discussed. Then we went to the United Nations Security Council, which we said again is one of the powerful organs of the UN because it has got power to admit, expel, dismiss members. Then also we have looked at the Secretary General, and the Secretary General we said that it is headed by the uh, sorry the Secretariat, which is headed by the Secretary General. We also stated our number of uh, Secretary Generals. For example, the Co we, we had Kofi Annan from Ghana, we had uh, Ban Ki-moon from Korea, and also we had Antonio, Antonio Guterre from Portugal. And now today, we'll get to the International Court of Justice. Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We expect that we are able to state the functions of the Interna International Court of Justice, the functions of the Interna International Court of Justice. Now, the International Court of Justice is also known as the Hague right, is well known to be the Hague, ICJ. However, we we'll get to look at that the ICJ, which is the International Court of Justice, uh, the name also changed to ICC, right? ICC, it also changed to ICC. And we, one thing we get to know about ICC, it is based in the Hague, Netherlands. And when we, when we talk of Hague in Kenya, it's very, it's, it's very known because we had our president and the deputy who were al aligned in the Hague, which is, uh, which is in the Netherlands. That is after the 2007-2008 uh, post-election violence. Now we can get to see the Hague, right? That's the ICG, ICG in the Hague, Netherlands. You can see how big it is. Good. And one thing again, we must get to know that um, the trending, the trend, the trending ways is that um, we had this lawyer who also, who also, who was also, who has also been uh, taken to the Hague to answer charges of, uh, of uh, witness bribery. Now we get to look at. Uh, who is the head of the Hague, right? And, and, and what does the Hague comprise of? Now, one thing you must get to know that the Hague is the principal judicial organ of the UN, right? Is the principal judicial organ of the UN. And also, it deals with other disputes like treatment of diplomatic and consular staff, right? The fishing rights, the territorial water delimination and human right violation. But more, the, num the number of cases that um, have been taken to the Hague is the human right violation, right? And, uh, and recently we realized that uh, the UN has also sent, uh, sent uh, the Security Council to Uganda and get to see the situation if it is threatening the international peace. Now, one thing again we must realize about the ICG is that the court consists of 15 judges, right? It consists of 15, 15 judges. So it is the principal judicial organ of the United Nations. Apart from the ICG, apart from the ICG, we have got other organs of the United Nations, right? We have got other organs of the United Nations. For example, for example, we have got the ECOSOC, which is the Economic and Social Council, right? So the Economic and Social Council got, just gets to look at the economic development the social developments of the member states, right? Do they, do they need uh, financial support for those developing countries? And another organ we have in the UN, we have with the, trust, uh, the, the trusteeship council. However, we have got other specialized organs in the UN, for example, the ILO, which is the International Labor Organization. And um, in the International Labor Organization, it gets to look at the welfare of the, of the, of the, of the, of the workers, right, of the member states. Also, we have got the Food and Agriculture Organization, well known as FAO, right? It gets to look at uh, development of agriculture, the food situations in the third world countries, and also the developing countries. Then we have got this very known, again, organization, which is the World Health Organization, very known. And um, recently, the United Nations suffered a, a major blow when the United States bold, uh, get, got to pull out from the World Health Organization. It said it is going, it's not going to fund uh, the World Health Organization, right? It's very primarily in uh, the United Nations. And also, lastly, we have the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, right? You have been hearing of the United Nations uh, scholarship programs, 
right? That is that, that's the work of the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. Now, class, we have looked at a number of um, the organs of the UN, from the General Assembly, Secretariat, the Security Council. We have come to ICG, the International Court of Justice. Then you have looked at the OCOSOC and also Trusteeship Council. And also have looked at the special organs of the UN, for example, World Health Organization, the FAO, and ILO. Now, for our assignment, can we, can we get to state other specialized organs of the UN? We just, uh, we just stated a few. You need to state a number of, uh, get, state, get, state, get, get to state the three other specialized organs of the United Nations. And for our research, get to refer to Evolving World, History and Government from for the seventh edition and as always this is a limit tv you can get in touch with us via sms line via youtube at uh, a limit tv also f via our facebook and also you can send your, uh, your your feedback through twitter at a limit tv can you let us keep watching a limit tv we watch and learn